Tapeworms show some fantastic morphological regression. They're a classic example of how parasites lose a lot of their external and internal organs. Compared to free-living flatworms, they have lost their gut, they have lost cup eyes and cephalization. And we were interested to see when we sequence these four tapeworm genomes if there is a genetic regression that is mirroring their morphological regression. So we set out to find conserved domains which are present in other animals but have been lost in tapeworms. What we find is that one of the most striking reduction is their metabolism. In this list of metabolic pathways, you can see humans mostly have warm red and yellow colors. That means that they have most of the enzymes needed in that pathway. Whereas tapeworms, they're almost only blue colors, indicating that they've lost lots of key enzymes. Some of the things they seem to have lost is the ability to synthesize fatty acids, to use molybdenum and enzymatic processes, and to synthesize their own serin and proline. And all of this, of course, go together with the fact that free-living flatworms, they eat, they have to digest the food and take up nutrients. Whereas the tapeworms, they don't have a gut, they absorb all the nutrients they need from the host and they tend to use very simple substances. It even seems that they lost a whole organelle, the peroxisome. So the peroxisome is a small um, organelle surrounded by a lipid bilayer that breaks down fatty acids and some amino acids as well. Whereas humans have 160 peroxisomally associated genes, simply simple organisms such as C. elegans and Drosophila, they still have around 90 of those. So these are highly conserved genes, whereas tapeworms, they have less than half of that. So we think that tapeworms might have lost even their peroxisomes. So to summarize, we can see that the morphological regression is closely matched by a genetic regression in which tapeworms have lost lots of metabolic capacity, including even making their own DNA. They can't make purines or pyrimidines, so without the host, they can't even make their own DNA and they can't reproduce.